What do we got here? <laughs> Dear God, it's beautiful. I don't know why, I freaking love this. We have little mini construction helmets that go on your toe and this would be like so good because I have a toddler at home and her toys are everywhere. And literally every time I step on them or like I go towards the kitchen and I like stumble on like her toys, I'm like, oh, the kitchen at home, I just got home alone. But if I had little mini construction helmets on my toes, this could all be avoided. Like I could be living my best life. Like Legos, you want some Legos? Like pour it all out and I just go like walking like it's a breeze. <laughs> Sign me up. So we got some Pepsi Twist but it's on tap. This is actually really cool. So you put this in your fridge, it's upside down, and you can just like, psh, all, anytime you want. You're like, I just want like a sip. Psh, I just want like a cup. Psh. Instead of like, oh, like I just want a sip, you have to like carry the big two liter jug out. Like you don't have to do these things anymore, people. I feel like it would occupy a lot of your fridge space, but I like it. Well done. <laughs> okay, speaking from experience, I am terrible with chopsticks. Like so bad, so, so, so bad. I Like so many people try to help me, teach me, guide me, give me a spiritual lesson on how to use these things and I just can't for the life of me. I didn't grow up with chopsticks, so it's really difficult for me. So whenever I go to like a restaurant and they give me chopsticks, I'm always like, can I have a fork please? Like, oh, I wish, like I should just buy some on Amazon and just practice at home. Like pick up random objects, like cook with them, clean with them. But this, I can see this is like a, this is an invention for me. So the clothespin just makes it a lot more easier, it's sturdier, stable. I could get on board. If I was like on Dragon's Den as an investor, I'd be like, I'm all in. Hey guys, welcome back to Kickback and React. I'm your host, Britt, and today we're looking at the dumbest inventions that are actually genius. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video from us. And while you're there, hit that like button. Oh, okay, if I was like a better driver and it wasn't, <sighs> Is eating while driving technically illegal in Canada because it's considered distracted driving? I don't I know we all do it, but if a police officer pulled you over and you saw like you had a full on dinner table at your steering wheel while you're driving, like you're probably gonna get a ticket. You would have a tough time talking yourself out of that one. I think I'd pass on this. Maybe it's good for the passenger side. I feel like it's really dangerous. Like if you got into an accident, it would like sever you. So pass on that. The twirling spaghetti fork. <laughs> Eating pasta has never been easier. Twirls up spaghetti, battery operated, dishwasher safe, metal prong end, fun and easy to use. <laughs> uh, it's so funny because Landon and I, my husband, we eat spaghetti very differently. I am a spaghetti twirler. I will get my spoon and my fork and I will like do it neatly and I'm like, like so nice, like I'm debutante, like hello. He just like full on like, he's a scoop, a grab and scoop and slurp. <laughs> And it just like slaps him in the face, like spaghetti sauce flying everywhere. And I'm here just like dodging it, but he should have this. I don't need it because I'm a seasoned twirler, but he could use the benefit of this. Oh, I was so confused for a second. I was like, why is it in his mouth? Why is it attached to string? I don't get it. But it's literally like, I guess a suction cup for your ceiling and then it holds your phone. But I feel like it's almost like just open the door aggressively and like a gust of wind or you have a fan on, like your phone's gonna be swaying and you're like, oh wow, what a good TV show. There's other things like clamps. You can put it on like your nightstand and it has an arm and then you just have your phone or there's like actual just stands that you can put it on or you know, TV. <laughs> Pass again. Oh, I've seen this. It's like a divider for siblings because I don't know what it is, but I guess being in a tight, confined space, like such as a car, they get into fights. It's really frustrating for the parents. So they're like, oh, just like divide it up. You guys got your own individual rooms. It looks like it's attached to their heads. It's like a sweatband. This is homemade for sure. Genius, but also like very dangerous. If you were to get into an accident, oh, I guess it moves with you because it's on your head. I'm all about the safety. Like, if you were to get into an accident, what would the repercussions be? Like, I should just like take it at face value, but good job, well done. Oh, it's like a little tissue earring. So it's like, I sneezed. And then I was like, I'm crying. We just like go here. This would be good for the movie theater. If you're watching a sad movie, you just need it like accessible. Oh, they're called tearings. Oh my God. The name, the name just made it like so much better. Ah, yes, the infamous Cheeto. The problem is they're delicious and great, but they leave an orange powdery residue and you can't do anything. Like you literally have to sit still, focus on your Cheetos, and then you can go and wash your hands and live the rest of your day freely. But with these, 
you just plop them on, you eat, and then you just take them off and you can do whatever you need to do. Well done. And it's also good for people who don't like things on their hands or like they don't like to get dirty because you can't eat Cheetos with like a fork. You can't eat them with a spoon. So yeah, I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, these heels are a little like snowmobiles. Like they just got the, they got the shovel, but like you would have to walk really funny. Like you couldn't lift, you couldn't walk normally. You'd have to like penguin it to wherever you need to go. I would say for practical reasons, just wear your boots on your way to work or like to your car, things like that. And then just have your heels in your car if you want to change and dress up your outfit. I would think this would dress down your outfit. If I saw someone with like little shovels on their shoes, I'd be like, that's very strange, that's very odd. Just get a shovel and get up early and shovel your driveway first or just plow through it in boots. I don't know. All right, to do tattoo. It's a, the perfect solution for your, sh I can't read that, it's so small. Oh, it's a perfect solution for your shady short-term memory. So I guess it's like, a, it's like a pen that you can write on your hand as a tattoo. Is that it? Is that, or do you like write on that? Okay, I think you write on this list and then you like stick it on like one of those temporary tattoos. You put some water and then you peel it off and then it's there. Um, I mean, or you could just write on your hand with a regular pen or you could just have it on your phone. Like there's apps for that. You don't need to tattoo your hand. <laughs> the fork you. Push to release the condiments. Oh, cool! So you got your relish, your mustard, ketchup. But I, I'm just so confused as to why it's on a fork. Is it just to save space? It'd be really cool if you were like camping and you were like, oh, let me get my fork you. <laughs> I hope that's what it's called. And it's a, such a small amount though. I like a lot of ketchup on my hot dog and I'm like a little bit of mustard, no relish. So maybe I would fill the relish with extra ketchup then. Yeah. Avocado on a stick. This would last you like a whole day. <laughs> you know when you buy avocado and it's not ripe and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna give it another day. Two hours pass, avocado spoiled. What, what is it with avocado? What's your problem? Why, why can't you say fresh? Like I literally will go to the grocery store. I won't even be in the mood for avocado this week. But I'm like, I'll buy it. Cause you never know when you're gonna be in the mood and you never know with its temperament if it's gonna be ripe or not. And it's like you cut it to an avocado, you better want the whole damn thing because if not, like it's just gonna turn brown and gross. So. Avocado on a stick, if you stay fresh for long in that little deodorant stick of yours, like I'm on board, I am so there. But if you turn brown the minute I smear you on my toast, we're no longer friends. Resealable cans, that's really cool because when you go to a park or like anything outside, any venture outside, and you open up a can, bees are like, come brothers, and they like swarm you, and they won't like go away, they're just there. They're like, this is my can now. We're gonna build our hive, let's get the queen, let's move her in, let's get a U-Haul, let's go. But you could just seal it up, and you don't have this problem. That's great. Oh, look at this little baby! wearing like a mop apparatus on his belly. So he's doing like tummy time where he's learning to crawl and he's just cleaning the house and he does it. Multitasking at its finest. Might have to get this for my next baby. I don't know. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay, we got all the dips. Oh, it's like, is it sponsored by McDonald's or something? Cause they're, they look like they're from McDonald's. I can tell that. Oh, it's like he's loading it up. He's just got his nugget. That's a big glove to wear though. I know it's from the Avengers. I have not seen it. Is it Thanos? Is it his? This toast bread while you're slicing it. That looks like a death tool. Like if you could cut bread and it toasts it simultaneously, like what kind of damage will it do to your flesh? Uh, I don't need that. I'm clumsy enough already. Like I'll cut myself on a butter knife. Like I don't know if you guys can see that. I, I don't even know where that's from. Like I, I couldn't tell you. But so that thing in my house would be no good. No good. All right, just like the avocado on a stick, we got butter on a stick. This is so exciting because if you could just like keep this in your fridge or room temperature even, and you could just like spread it, it would be so nice. And you could put it on corn, you could put it on like, oh, like I say popcorn, that would be so awful, like doing each individual popcorn. But I, I could get on board with this too. So this would cool down your pasta and noodles as you're eating it, your ramen. But it would feel so heavy. And like I said, I'm not good with chopsticks. So just like, deter me from using it properly and it would be a hindrance more than it would help me. For those that are good with chopsticks, I mean, you might wanna invest. Well, there you guys have it. That was the dumbest inventions that are actually genius. Are there any on the list that you would buy? Cause uh, I think I would buy a majority of them. I don't know, I'm a sucker for a good product. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.
But like, I mean, if a cop was to pull you over and you just had a friggin' tray, like a table, like a, like you have like a dinner table set up to the wheel, you're probably not gonna get it. And guys, I'm so excited. I bought a butter bell in case you haven't heard of it. It's basically you put like soft butter in this thing against water because it's hypoallergenic. But I, I could get on board with this too. I feel like I said that a lot. Like I said it like a lot. I could get on board with it. What am I, a sailor? Oh, 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 oh,